Okay, my little daughter, she picked this up and she sits there and she goes, Rhinoceros. You see this one? Like Free luck. You see the rhino? A couple of yeah, you do that because you can get a tail. <laughs> and it, so, I can't. She also buys on our uh, website store. And she picks up through the wintertime. She's very, very, very loyal. How's our relationship? Good, isn't it? Customer and farmer. Yeah. I love to know their names. I like to learn something about them and talk to them. To me, I can't talk to my vegetables. I do. Yeah. I do, yeah. But they don't talk back. At least here at the customers, I can interact with them. And it's pretty good. If somebody wants something, I can set it aside for them. We let people, you know, I reserve things. Um, they'll ask me when is something going to be ready. Some people like to be treated a little, you know, special. Have a, something hidden under the counter. They're going to show up today. I know they're coming, so those type of things. But every day can be something different. You never know who's going to come or what's going to happen. What makes our produce different than what's in the grocery store? Well, um, for one thing, it's the closeness to where it's from. We're uh, only about uh, 11, 12 miles from the market. And then also the timing between when it's harvested and it's brought to market. Um, like this lettuce here was harvested today about 11 o'clock this morning. So I don't think you can go to the grocery store and do that. We don't grow, we grow ours without the use of chemicals. It's on a natural state. It's just like a subscription for getting a magazine, the way we look at it. They pay for the basket in the wintertime. They can select anything from 13 weeks to 26 weeks. And then uh, throughout the summer, we select what goes into the basket to make that up. And, uh, and it's kind of unique because what we do is all through the year when people ask us how they're going to get on, we tell them to send us an email if they're interested. In January, we send them an email and we say, this day you can sign up. And last year we sold out in uh, less than eight hours because they know they've only got one chance to get in. But we don't have a large number and we don't we just keep taking more and more people. We keep it at a set number. Hey, you rollerbladed into that. Yeah. Some uh, remains and rents and Well, it's, it, it, the food becomes more than just food. It becomes a community thing. It gets people interacting and talking. That doesn't happen as much, I don't think, just in a normal grocery store setting. And that's what it has to be as a community, not just food consumption.